Why, hello there. Welcome back. Where'd you go anyway? I've been sitting here. What do you do? Go vegan, motherfucker. Make a muffin. So, Lauren Cordain. Very popular guy in the paleo movement. He was like the original guy. He wrote the paleo diet. So, according to him, we need to eat like cavemen. Because Thack the fucking caveman, he, he had it all figured out. He, he knew. He knew. I mean, screw the scientists we have today doing research. They didn't know what Thack knew. And Thack knew well. So anyways, his diet is like typical hunter-gatherer, what you would think. We make a big kill, eat lots of animal protein, and fruits and vegetables that you can gather seasonally. The only problem with that is science exists. It's real. And they've done the research and they know that saturated fat from animal products raises our cholesterol, it clogs our arteries, and that causes heart attacks. That's not even debatable. And the crazy thing is, Lauren Cordain does not disagree with what I just said. Let's take a look at his book here. Okay, so this is from his book, The Paleo Diet Revised. So he's saying saturated fats elevate blood cholesterol in humans. These facts are undeniable. The clogging of arteries that eventually result in fatal heart attacks comes about through a process called atherosclerosis in which plaque made of cholesterol and calcium builds up in the arteries. So he's on board with that. He says the fatal event causing a heart attack is not the gradual narrowing of the arteries but rather a rupturing of the fibrous cap that surrounds the wall. Chronic low level inflammation is what triggers the fibrous cap to rupture. So do dietary saturated fats from fatty meats cause the artery clogging process known as atherosclerosis? If we look at the evolutionary evidence, the answer is a resounding yes. But he says that as long as there's zero inflammation, then actually having a heart attack is unlikely. It gives me no confidence when he says things like, atherosclerosis likely will not kill us, or consumption of fatty meats will probably have a minimal outcome on your health. I mean, these are not statements from a confident person who knows what they're talking about. So he says it himself. I mean, saturated fat causes atherosclerosis, but it's the inflammation that has to trigger the heart attack. Well, guess what causes inflammation? Meat, animal protein, and saturated fat. We know these things, they cause inflammation. There's one other little thing that causes inflammation. Everything, every fucking thing we do causes inflammation. You can't get away from it. Exercise, stress, having negative emotions, bad thoughts. Almost every food that isn't a fruit or a vegetable causes at least some inflammation, but the worst are animal products and processed foods like fried foods and highly refined donuts and shit like that. But the point is you can't avoid inflammation. That's insane. If you don't want a heart attack, your best bet is to not have your arteries clogged in the first place. And the only way to do that is to not eat the artery clogging foods, which are animal products. Those are the cause. If you do eat the meat, your arteries get clogged and then it doesn't guarantee a heart attack, but any little thing that you do that triggers inflammation will trigger the heart attack. That's why you see people like, you hear of so-called healthy people going for a run one day and then boom, heart attack. And they're just like shocked. It's like out of nowhere, he was so healthy. He wasn't healthy, his arteries were clogged as fuck. The opening to his arteries were thinner than a fly's dick. They were thinner than a fly's dick. Nothing was getting through there. And then that one little run caused a little bit of inflammation, boom. Fibrous cap, blown off, stroke or a heart attack. So instead of avoiding the animal products that clog our arteries, Lauren Cordain's super awesome plan for you and I is to eat the animal products, clog the shit out of our arteries, and then go live in a plastic bubble and only think happy thoughts. Because if you have a negative thought, you're gonna die. 
your fly dick arteries aren't gonna, <laughs> they're gonna fucking collapse. The only diet that we know right now that will reverse heart disease and remove the plaque is a low fat vegan diet. Why aren't we all on that diet right now? Preventing the heart disease. If you care, if you care about your body, you might want to do that because the science has been done. We know this. Bacon causes cancer. Red meat is carcinogenic and saturated fat clogs your arteries. And if you fucking move, if you walk across the street, you're a ticking time bomb. You're going to blow up. If you have one bad day, that could be the end. Clear your arteries with fruits and veggies. Do that. Potatoes quinoa and broccoli they're delicious rice and beans fucking eat them stop with the steak don't put cheese on it whatever you're gonna eat don't put cheese on it damn it so that's it just a quick little message this guy is selling you books and he doesn't know what he's talking about he even he does that's a sad thing he does know what he's talking about and he's just like still so stupid that he would still suggest eating meat. It's crazy. I mean, what if I told you, no, don't use the bridge to cross that highway. Just run across the highway. Yeah, seven out of eight people have died, but that one guy, look at him. Look how far ahead he is. Eating meat is like running across a highway. It's a risk. It's a pretty fucking obvious risk, so take it at your own discretion did that make sense i'm not sure so that's it thank you for watching this has been a vegetable police production i will probably never say that again subscribe like it share it please people are eating bacon and going for runs and they're falling down and they don't get back up thank you so instead of avoiding all the foods that we know cause fuck like what you think a hunter and I'm retarded. Your fly dick arteries aren't just gonna fucking, I can't get the rest of the sentence out. How am I supposed to say that with a straight face? Your fly dick arteries are just gonna catapult. I can't do it. Catapult, what the fuck is that? Take a deep breath and let your stress separate from the mind and then let go of the hate. Like a fish in the bait. If you wanna escape, let go of the fucking hook Give your life a second look I'm a vampire, running around the street